Hi everyone, so today I am going to do another fall DIY using Dollar Tree products, of course, they're my favorite, and every single year for every single season I do some sort of floral arrangement. Now last year I already did a bunch of different Dollar Tree florals in a typical standard style where you would put them in a vase, so this year I really wanted to like spruce up this lantern that I have that sits year round by my fireplace, and I really just kind of wanted to give it like a little kick but I'm not actually going to use any glue gun here just because I do want to be able to take my floral back apart so that I can put it away again for next fall season and make my lantern plain again for you know everyday decor so this lantern happens to have these little holes that you see here and I'm actually going to utilize them to put in my floral so all of this floral that you see here is from the Dollar Tree I have hauled it in one video or another you've probably seen it if you watch my Dollar Tree hauls I think their fall line this year is stunning and those peonies honestly is what got me thinking I know I've done a lot of floral arrangements but I have to do another one but I wanted to do something unique so that's where the lantern came into play so essentially what I've done is I've taken apart the floral arrangement from their stems and I took a wire cutter and I just snipped them all apart and once I was done going through all of my flowers which takes some time and some strength so if you are going to do this make sure you have really good wire cutters because the ones I have are from the Dollar Tree and it took a lot out of me to clip all of those little single individual stems so now if you do have a lantern but you don't have the little holes like I have here you probably would need to cut your stems a lot shorter and you may have to to either hot glue them to your lantern if you wanted to and hot glue is easy to take off but you may be damaging the paint on your lantern um, but or you could actually sort of hot glue the flowers to one another and then you would essentially put them onto your lantern maybe with some like tape or something of that nature I've never done this before so I'm not like a floral lantern professional by any means. It just so happens that this lantern I have had the little holes in it so it worked out really well. And you'll actually see my other lantern. I have two that sit by my fireplace at the end of this video and it has glass on it so there's not actually any holes so that's why I chose this lantern over the other one. So basically what I do with any of my floral arrangements and I've talked about this in my other videos is the best way to start off is to pick the flower that you have that you have the most quantity of. So the peonies was really what I started off with because I wanted to utilize them the most as my main flower and then that's when I start to go in with the next group which were the little white, I don't know what those little white tiny flowers are called, and then I went in with the darker red orange and then I went in with the lighter orange color there. I did notice that as I was putting my flowers together um, in the very beginning because I didn't have very many of them like sitting next to each other, they were becoming a little loose, but as I added more and more flowers to it, it was grouping them and bunching them together so that they were almost like holding against one another, so it was a lot easier towards the end to um, add other little flowers and embellishments and things like that. So I'm just basically adding my little final touches. I really don't know, this like little grass, baby's breath looking flowers. I'm, I just don't really know the names of this stuff. But as you can see, the stems are sticking out in the back, but I'm just fine with that because the back, you're really not gonna see if you come into my home and it's not a big deal to me. But if your lantern will be visible in a 360 view, then you wanna make sure that those stems aren't sticking out or aren't visible to the eye. So once you've added your main flower and then you go down to the next one and then the next one and when you get to the end just play around with it like you see me doing here. I take a step back, I always look at it, I rearrange things, that's okay. You don't have to get it perfect, just keep trying and you can arrange something very beautiful from the Dollar Tree. I've never worked at a floral shop before so I have no experience there. It's just it takes time, step back again and keep going.
So now I want to add these sunflowers. I recently just hauled them from the Dollar Tree. They really grabbed my eye because they have a very, very beautiful glittery center. And I'm sorry you can't see that here, but I decided that that yellow is too bright and it just does not fit in with the colors of this gorgeous arrangement right here. So I decided to just cut another little peony and place it on top. And that is it, you guys. I use no hot glue. I just use wire cutters, Dollar Tree, floral and my own lantern and there we go i absolutely love this i'm so obsessed i can't wait to do this again for maybe even halloween and christmas i hope that you guys enjoyed this and don't forget at the end of this video you can watch some more fall diy so if you haven't had enough check those out Hey guys, so do you need more fall in your life? Then check out my Dollar Tree DIY fall pillows, or you can check out my Shein fall clothing haul, or even a fall planner spread. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.